Hello, hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Well, remember, we are not given a good or a bad life. We are all given a life, so it's really up to us to make it a good or a bad life. So guys, this is to pick our brains a bit as humans. So let's chat in the comment section. There is no right or wrong comment. There is just opinions. And we need to learn to respect everyone's opinion because this should be interesting. Cool? So, it's alleged some states in the U.S. wants to make DNA tests mandatory. How would you feel about that? Where are you from? Whichever country you are in, would you feel good about this? So, I was on social media and came upon this debate going on. Women were responding wildly and seemingly upset about this going, going to be mandatory. And I found it crazy hilarious, but seriously interesting. Now there was this one woman saying she don't want her tax dollar funding people personal lifestyle. But at the same time, she is saying there is nothing wrong with a man taking care of another man's child. Because more time men leave their baby mothers and wives and take up other women with children. Which they are helping to take care of. And sometimes don't even look back at their own to take care of them either. Her stance was a bit confusing but she had some valuable points still. However, I think taxes is a must. There's no escaping that. And it's money pulled together to help build a better society. So if part of that, what's collected goes to making sure a child know where they are from, where their villages are, it definitely would contribute to a better family life. Everyone would definitely be sure who their next of kin is. On the next thing that she said, yes, men go to other women build life with, with other women with children and look after them yes but they know it's not theirs there is a difference because even in their mind then totally know it's a different feeling we can't get away from the fact that there is such a different kind of connection and feeling and urge that you get when you know your child when you're hundred percent sure you understand and I think that having the DNA mandatory would help to keep that kind of connection going and yes while we know there are some heartless men that are rolling stone that even when the DNA says you are the father they will never commit but the knowledge is still very powerful to know the power of knowing you are able to make an informed decision if it is yours or not what to do. Another lady says when you are married your husband should never ask you for a DNA test because they are married and take vows. Because automatically any child she carries is his and she would be very offended and would be thinking of a divorce. Well, really and truly, in fact, when you are married, any child that you have, it do belong to your husband. But there is many times where there is a slip between the cup and the lip and the child is not the husband because people are human and people are promiscuous. You understand? And you don't want later on when you're filing for a child or some health issue come up then you find out it's not yours because people generally are not totally honest so why they take the vows and we are expecting to be doing the right thing and being faithful and honest it don't generally happen in situations like this we can't afford for people to be getting into them feelings you have to be really grown and mature minded to understand this remember marriage is a business you see the marriage certificate both have to sign 
is the first contract. Yes, love and caring and sex added to the contract make it even sweeter. But at the same time, look how many times we have seen these contracts been broken. So I see nothing wrong when a child or a children is added to the marriage, which is like a new clause to the contract, and it has been asked to verify it. It helps keep the contract valid. If as women and we have no doubt, there is no reason why any feeling should get involved when a DNA is asked for. As women is we carry the baby, so we definitely know it's ours. We then give it to the man. So if he asks for a DNA test, just give it to him. And just keep on being merry and loving. There's no reason for any attitude or being upset and thinking he's being disrespectful. He has a right to know for sure. Think about it. Your man will be totally happy. You know how much power that gives you as a woman? Statistic has also shown that many men have put their hard earned money, their heart and their soul into a child only to find out later either through a medical situation or a filing situation it's not theirs. Do you know the impact that has on the child and the fa that father? And by extension the whole family life get messed up because this affects the whole family. As for my little country Jamaica, the statistics is very high and I'm saddened by that. So I think DNA being mandatory would be a big help there. It would make such a big difference. I think everybody would make sure they'd be doing the right thing. I however sometimes think that some women jump from one relationship to the next one too quick. Well, while some of them will be dealing with more than one man, but you have some cases where a woman jump from a relationship too quick and go into another one. Really and truly, she's not thinking that she was pregnant from before, and then there creates a problem because when she gets pregnant, there it's a chance that is the man before that it was his child. I think when you break up from your partner, women need to give themselves some time at least to let them body adjust it will also give your body chance to breathe so you can make more conscious decision as you go on to the next sometimes it would make a difference just in case you were pregnant from before yes i know it seems sometimes unfair because a man don't care anything and he can jump from relationship to relationship and skip and hop around around the merry-go-round tree with different women and he carries nothing so it don't affect them but you know what I always believe that woman and man were not meant to be the same and I don't think women should be doing the same thing that men do some women are more responsible and know to handle themselves and some women think that they are handling themselves and they end up with catastrophic situations coming out of it. Personally, me being a mother of sons, anytime they start to get children, remember me tell you, DNA is a must. There is no going around that because I see how some women play dangerous games and in general, it's not nice. And it would give me great comfort in knowing that this is my bloodline, an offspring f that comes down my bloodline in a real life. Another thing too, I think with the DNA being mandatory, it would cut down on a lot of promiscuity and there would be less talk about women are wicked and women are this and women are that because majority of the reasons why men think about women in that way is because the amount of times that children are proven to not belong to the right fathers so at least would at least that would be something that helped to bring down the stigma attached to women well at least some of the stigmas however i think as parents because grooming begins from the home 
we should really nurture our girls to value and respect themselves and their bodies and to make informed decision when getting into situations the men need to also remember to you know it's not every woman you lay with you are to do it irresponsibly for them to get pregnant you know because some women were not meant for that they were you understand i hate to say that they were meant more for fun care someone out there them is out there to have fun and then those things just happen there's women that you have fun with and there's women that are there to carry children you understand so not every woman you sleep with value was all the same values in terms of them being a baby mother for you or a wife so on a whole i do believe that dna testing should be mandatory and i do believe that it will be very helpful in many countries and men are it will be helpful in family life and i think it would contribute to better family life right now i seen too many games being played using children and remember it's not fair you understand because they are going to grow up from this and their lifestyle is going to be one where them totally confused we need to make better choices and think of our children first put our children first because remember so they are going to be the next generation so guys I'd like you to comment in the comment section and let me know how you feel about DNA being mandatory in your country wherever you live okay as to Jamaica which is my country yeah man it definitely need to be mandatory okay guys remember to like subscribe and comment so we can have a little chitty chat whether you agree or not no matter okay all right love you all bye for now